Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerSportsBetting.com. On Roku, in the sports section, the vanity code is, one word, Dwyer Boxing News. On iTunes, same thing, one word, Dwyer Boxing News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, Las Vegas wise guys like to tell you not to bet on teasers in college football, right? The argument is that there's too much variance in college football. There isn't the predictability that there is in pro football. I'm going to disagree. I think you have to look at things on a game-by-game -game basis, and you have to keep in mind that some casinos will allow teasers involving different sports. In other words, check with your casino. You can tease college football with pro football. You could tease college football with pro basketball, right? If you see a great deal on a college football game, but you don't like the spread. You'd like to get seven more points to feel comfortable. If the line's already in your favor and you want to make it even more so, why wouldn't you want to tease the play? Why would you want to leave the good information you have about the game on the table? Well, for people who do teasers, let me just say, I think there's a great opportunity in college football this week. It involves possibly the best college football team in the country coming off of their biggest game of the year. Now, if you're on the West Coast and you hear the best in the country, you're probably thinking the Oregon Ducks, who at home last week just beat their nemesis, the Stanford Cardinal, a team that had had some success against Oregon in the past, right? A team that seemed to haunt Oregon's Heisman Trophy candidate, Marcus Mariota, right? But understand, that was last week. Oregon now is going to go on the road, and they're going to face an underrated team you need to know about. They're ranked in the top 20 by the AP. They have one of college football's best defenses, and that's the Utah Utes, right? These are the kind of teams on which you make money, especially now. Because Utah is coming off of a loss. It's a three-point loss on the road to the 15th ranked team in the country, the Arizona State Sun Devils, right? Now, my point to you is simply this. Look hard at Utah's track record, folks. They've only lost two games all year. The first was a one-point loss to Washington State. The second was a three-point loss on the road to Arizona State. But yet here, somehow, the casino seems to feel that this team should be given eight points, more than a touchdown, against Oregon, at home. I think the eight points is too many, but I also recognize that Oregon has a very high-powered pro-style offense, right? Their former coach, Chip Kelly, right now is doing wonders with the Philadelphia Eagles. I also understand that Marcus Mariota is probably the best quarterback since Andrew Luck in college football, right? So I want a few more points. And with a teaser, I can get those points. If you're teasing other games, you might want to, if you have another game to tease, you might want to add this game to the teaser. Because understand, if you get seven points on an eight-point spread, that would take you past the magic number of 14. In other words, Utah could lose by two touchdowns and still cover a 15-point spread, which is what you get if you tease this up. 
what I'm recommending here, and I hope this isn't too wonkish, is I'm recommending that you tease Utah up to 15 points. You'll have to add another game, right, to your teaser. But the point is here, this game, it's teasable. As big and as bad as Oregon is, I don't think Oregon is 15 points better than Utah at Utah. Right? Utah has exactly the kind of defense to give Oregon problems. Right? If you slow down the Oregon offense one week after, Oregon, of course, just got placed in the top four in the country. In other words, that playoff that we're going to have for the first time this year, Oregon's now in it. We were all 18, 19, and 20 once. You know, these Oregon guys are exhaling a bit. They just beat Stanford. They're now eligible for the playoff. I'm sure these guys are going to be just a tad bit distracted. Right after a week of being the big men on campus, when they go to play Utah in Utah, and you know for Utah, this is their biggest game of the year. If you tease this to 15, I think Utah covers the 15-point spread. As it is, I think the 8 is wide, but in deference to you, to Oregon, I'm going to tease this all the way to 15 and include it in a two-team teaser play. Right? Just understand, too, that the second half of your teaser doesn't have to be college football. We're just picking and poaching a good playing option from the world of college football to add in our teaser that involves other sports, right? Let me also say this about teasers. I know there's some people who like to do three event teasers. I'm not one of them, right? I think it's hard to win two events together. When I do teasers, I just like to tease two games, right? Put them together. If you're getting seven points on both games, right, let's say football, then the payoff's going to be a minus 130. But occasionally you're going to find values like this, and you need to think in terms of key numbers like 14, 10, 7, 4, and 3. If you're able to tease games past those numbers, you're doing well. Here, they're giving you the opportunity to tease this game past 14 for the home team, getting the points. That's too much to pass up, in my opinion. I like Utah on a teaser, teased up to 15 points, right? It's a seven-point swing. The line's eight right now. I like Utah teased up to 15 points over the Oregon Ducks. Let me hear from you. If there are other teaser possibilities that you feel can be nicely included, and it can be from the world of college football, uh, in a teaser, then put them here in the comment section to this video on YouTube so that the gambling public can get an edge on the casino. Let me hear from you. Thanks for stopping by.